this is a lot and what have I done? Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the fairly newly launched Flower Beauty's Blush Bomb Color Drops. Now they launched like a month or month and a half back on Nykaa and I have picked up the shade Melon. So if you're new to my channel, then hi, hello, and I have an extremely oily, greasy ass skin. So I never ever gravitate towards like cream blushes. Like in my whole makeup collection, I have only three of them. So today's video is more or less like a first impression and I'm going to be doing a wear test with makeup like so and without makeup as well just to see how long it lasts on my greasy oily skin so before we can get into the good stuff and if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video Okay, so like I mentioned before, these had launched like a month, month and a half back on Nykaa and I have the shade Melon. Now this shade, it took me a while to get hold of it because these have been out of stock for the longest time. So they come quick and they go really quick as well and even right now at the moment, majority of the shades are out of stock. Now these are priced at 800 rupees for 9 ml of products and they have come out with 4 shades in India. Hey guys, so this is the editing me. I just want to quickly mention that when I initially filmed this video, there were only four shades and then by the time I finished filming and I'm editing, they have added the two other shades that were missing. So that is awesome. So as of now, they have a total of six shades. They have added the shade Cinnamon Crush as well as Bitten. I have already placed my order for Cinnamon Crush. That's the shade I was waiting for and it is on the way so yeah just want to clarify that now for the features of the blush bomb it says that it is a non-staining lightweight gel cream formula it has a buildable formula that blends like a dream precision dropper applicator offers ease of use it delivers a flawless radiant finish and this product is vegan and cruelty free as well moving on to the packaging this is how the outer packaging looks like and at the back you have the usual the how to's the ingredients expiry and all that details and this is how the blush bomb looks like which comes in the shade color throughout with the gold writing and the cap is the rotating type so that is that and this tube actually reminds me of like a lip balm you know and last but not the least is the swatch and this is how it looks like now this has blended seamlessly and it has a very good pigmentation i'm really surprised and happy with the shade melon because it looks pretty pigmented and it has this nice gel like a cream finish to it so finally for the application now just a quick fii i have not used any bronzer on my cheek i have only used bronzer on my forehead and my non-existing jaw but i have kept the cheek kind of like a blank canvas just so that you guys can see the shade properly now on this side I'm going to use my fingers to blend it and on this side I'm going to use my sponge okay it is super pigmented This is really really pigmented you guys what it looks like i got sunburnt what the hell this is crazy i just used a tiny dot i think i'm just gonna use my sponge to take off a bit of the product which is kind of okay i've not used any extra product or foundation on the sponge but i'm just tapping and blending it okay so it seemed like i have somewhat salvaged my makeup so for this side i am going to use like a teeny tiny drop that's it like literally just a dot 
that's it. Dab it at the back of my sponge and then apply it. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the best method rather than this. And having a mini heart attack. some on my nose as well just to give a nice flush of color but I honestly was not expecting this to be this pigmented and like I said it dries pretty quickly so you have to work fast so the best way of applying this is using your sponge and with the teeny tiniest amount I can foresee that this will last for a long long time and uh, let me quickly show you guys how it looks in natural lighting as well before that the time right now is 4 47 p.m. and uh, yeah let me show you guys how it looks in natural lighting Hey guys, I'm back and I am oily as foo. Please do not mind my headband and my hair is tied up because my skin is so oily that the hair keeps getting stuck on my face and that is by far the most annoying thing in the world. So right now the time is about 9.23 p.m. and it is a little over four four and a half hours and this is how oily and greasy i look well the worst case scenario that i was expecting is that my cheeks will get extremely oily compared to the rest of my face because of the cream blush however when i look at it let me zoom you guys in so i have zoomed you guys in and as you guys can see my cheek and my forehead is almost exactly the same oiliness or I could say that my forehead is a little extra shinier than my cheeks and my nose is crazy shiny and the thing is I can still see my blush faintly not exactly the same way how it was earlier but I can still see the blush now just for shits and giggles I'm going to use a blotting sheet just to see if I can blot away the oil and if the blush is still visible or not So I have gone through two whole blotting sheets and my makeup looks pretty fresh but then I can still see my blush which looks pretty normal and good. So that is a good sign. So for the first impression of the blush balm with my makeup on, I do like it because you guys saw the way how I was trying to fix it because it was super pigmented. But even then, it did not move the foundation. It did not mess up the underlying makeup and everything looked completely fine. And even with the oil as well as the blotting, I can still see a hint of the blush, which is a good thing. But then I am really, really curious how it will look without any makeup the reason is because i use a primer which tries to control oil i put moisturizer before that and i put like a foundation which kind of helps keeping the oil at bay and then i use loose powder i do all that steps but even then i get oily wherein without any makeup all i do is only moisturize my skin and i get oily really really quick so i'm curious to see how it performs tomorrow without any makeup on hey guys and welcome to day six because day two which was a sunday i was filming another video i wanted to put up quickly so i was editing it it went until 1 a.m. and then on Monday I woke up to an amazing eye infection so my eyes were kind of swollen so I took kind of like a break and uh, yeah I am back today which is a Friday and that is day six I have already finished like my office work so as promised I am without any makeup and by that I mean I've already filled in my eyebrows I have added some eyeliner and obviously I've put on some lipstick like it's me so, but apart from that I have only put on is moisturizer no foundation no concealer no loose powder nothing so in today's application I'm obviously not gonna be using my hands because that was a disaster I'm just gonna use my sponge on this side and on this side I'm gonna be using the real technique contour brush which I kind of use it for blush as well so I'm gonna use this just to see how it goes so yeah as I learnt my lesson I'm going to add in one drop 
that is it and okay and now for the brush side i'm just gonna take the brush and lightly just one touch i'm so scared Ooh. okay straight off i like this side I like using it with a brush but then I feel you need to take off the product a little bit like stamp it and then apply it and so that you have a better control this is actually not that bad I have so much left over with a brush I just hardly had to tap in but yeah this is good and uh, yeah this is how subtle it looks it's given this very very nice natural kind of a flush of color the time right now is 4 39 pm and uh, yeah hey guys i'm back and the time right now is 11 11 pm so it has been a little over six and a half hours it's close to six and a half hours and this is how oily my skin looks like let me zoom you guys in and show you how everything is looking like right now but from far away i can still see the blush lightly it's very subtle but i can see it so let me zoom in i feel that overall my face is oily like oil super oily 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 kind of less oily now i don't think that the blush actually makes my cheeks extra oily uh, it is just oily throughout just because of my skin being oily so i'm just gonna quickly blot my face So after blotting, I feel that the blush is kind of gone uh, and I can hardly hardly see the blush like even in person, I cannot see it much. So with the oil, I feel once I blotted, the blush kind of came off. So for the first pro, this liquid blush does not make my oily skin oilier for which I'm so so extremely happy about and pleasantly surprised because I was not expecting that whenever I hear cream blushes or liquid blushes i immediately think okay it's gonna make my oily skin super greasy i'm not gonna go for it but this one i've heard so many raving reviews about it and it is true so this is like a great liquid or a cream blush even if you have oily skin and that for me is a first pro hands down the second pro for me is a formula so it is liquid but it has a nice gel kind of a finish like it mentions in the description so i really do like the formula and that moves on to the third pro is that this is super pigmented and i was honestly not expecting how pigmented this is now but for application i was learning along the way and i realized how freaking pigmented it is and that again moves on to the next pro which is how blendable it is even though i almost screwed up i was able to blend it and it still looked really nice well and that again is a formula because this one does dry up pretty fast so you need to work fast on it but even then i was able to blend it so the formula is amazing on this now the fifth pro is that it did not disrupt the makeup underneath now with a lot of cream products that's something that is kind of scary is that what if it doesn't mesh well with the foundation or the primer or the concealer it could you know disrupt the whole makeup but this one even with my screw up and even after all that blending it did not disrupt the foundation at all it still looked really good so that is another pro and for the next pro like i mentioned before a little goes a long way with this one i had to add such a teeny tiny amount to get so much of consistency now for the next pro i love the fact that this gives a nice natural flush of color and it is matte finish it doesn't have any shimmer shine glitter nothing so the next pro is that this has a good packaging it is so travel friendly it's teeny tiny it's almost equivalent to a lip balm that you would carry so i really like the packaging now again we are not going to travel anytime soon right now 
but I'm just saying in the future if you do have to travel it is so much easier to carry this rather than the bulky compact looking blush packaging the next pro is the fact that this gave a decent wear time on my oily skin with makeup on now with the makeup under the foundation primer it still gave a very good amount of wear time which I was kind of surprised I thought it would kind of go away so just before we can move on to the con now this point is not like a pro nor is it a con it is a fact that you need to practice how to apply it because i almost screwed up would highly suggest the best option do not use it directly use it at the back of your hands squeeze the teeniest amount possible initially now the one and only con for this product i could think of is that if you have oily skin and if you're using it on your bare face just after moisturizing then apply a little extra amount because i applied very very slightly with a very light handed and i feel once i blotted my face or if you do any touch up the blush just goes off along with it so just add a little bit extra so that along the way it will still last by the end of the day for you so yeah that was the one and only con for me and overall i do love this product and i would recommend this product now even though if you have oily skin dry skin or normal skin i would recommend this product because it's a very rare thing that one product will actually suit for all of them and if price point is an issue probably wait until a sale or something comes up and then you can pick it up but this is a unique product that you guys should try it out and if you're thinking about it pick it up so yeah this wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's a channel on instagram and it's a channel on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye